I went to art school 22 years ago and um, when I finished the degree and uh, I never wanted to be an artist after that it just kind of I don't know it, it was the most negative experience for me it was it was it was just terrible I, I hated it it wasn't a supportive environment um, so I went off and got a different career and I worked in a medical career for a long time um, and when I came to Germany I met my husband and, and moved here I became um, what I think is quite unattractively known as, an, as a trailing spouse so I was kind of following my husband around. You know, I was totally a willing participant and I chose this life for myself. It, it does sort of put you in a, a frame of mind where you feel a little bit like you're playing second fiddle. And then I had my kids and then you sort of think, well, I'm doing that. And then as the kids start to get a little bit bigger, you start to think, well, what am I going to do now? You know, what, what, what do I want to be doing? And I just started painting and printing with the children. I'd find myself sitting at the kitchen table and I'd look up and realize the kids had wandered off ages ago and I was still sitting there. Um, and I started to think, you want to be an artist, don't you, kind of thing. And then last summer we moved and it just kind of made this clean break. Okay, so you arrive in this little tiny town in the middle of nowhere and you meet someone and they say, what do you do? What do you want to answer? And it was very clear to me, I wanted to answer, I'm an artist. And it gave me the push to say, yeah, this is really what I wanna do and I'm gonna do it. I was working in this broom cupboard in the basement of our house. It's basically windowless, has no light. It's this big, it's totally depressing. And I just felt super grateful that I had it and at that, time it felt almost too big and too much to be taking up a whole space in my house for just me and my art and i think during this process of becoming an artist and painting every day i suddenly decided i think i need to be bigger i mean my father's a sailor and he always says you know in, in navigation even just a couple of degrees shift in your direction means you could land on a different continent and I think that's that's very true um, there were just lots of small adjustments that amount to a completely different way of working and I knew that there was a studio space right around the corner but I'd never entered the headspace before of thinking I could have my own studio that I could pay for I just took a leap of faith I just did it.